subtracting fraction to decimal. I want to take a look at this example. I want to express these fractions as decimal. I want to let's take this number one. I want to express 4 over 5 as decimal. I want to express 4 over 5 as decimal. We have 4 divided by 5. But if you want to express as decimal, the first you are using this down number to divide the up number. You are using this down number to divide the up number. That is, how many times can 5 go in 4? Impossible. It, is, it cannot go. How many times is 0? Then you put point. If you put point here, yeah, you now add small zero here, yeah, making four. This one will become forty. How many times? This point now brings about the zero here. Yeah. How many times will five go in forty? Forty. How many times will five divide forty? It will divide it eight times without a remainder. No remainder. So that is the final, the answer. Number two, three over eight. I want to look at three over eight. We want to convert this fraction into decimal. Eight will go in three. It cannot go. That is the zero. Point. Then if you put point, you add zero, small zero here, making thirty. Eight will go in thirty. 3 times. 8 we go in 30 3 times. That is 10. Remainder 6. Remainder 6. It will go in 8 we go in sorry 8 we go in 30 3. Remainder 6. Then if it remains 6 you will add a zero to it. Eight will go in sixty. Any remainder you will be getting, you will be adding zero. You will now be using your denominator to be dividing every remainder you will add with zero. So eight in sixty seven times. Eight will go in sixty seven times. That is fifty six. Remainder 4. I said every remainder you get, you add a 0 to it. You add a 0 to it. 8 in 40, it will go 5 times. No remainder. That is your final answer. Number 3. 23 divided by 25. 25 will go in 23. It cannot go, that is a zero point, then it becomes 230. Two, 25 will go in 239. It will go nine times, remainder five. I said every remainder you will get, you add a zero. 25 will go in 50. It will go two times. No remainder. So that is your final answer. This is how to convert from fraction to decimal.